now. It's all done. So it all folds away. I'll just put in this. And then that folds up to that. All folds flat. And what I'm working on now is where the chainsaw is going to connect to. That's, that's just a rough guide, is that? Basically, a pin goes in, it has a hole in it, a boss goes through, and then the boss is welded. See it? To there. And that's what it swings on. That's clamped to the blade, it's super tight. And then it pivots. On there, you just tip your handle. So what I've been doing at the moment, here's one I made earlier. This is going to be the boss that it all pivots on. The thicker end is welded onto the plate that goes onto the um, blade of the chainsaw and what I'm turning down to size now is the pivot arm really. it just goes through the centre boss and it all swings on that and I'm just turning it down to about 19mm And when this is done, I can weld it all in position. And you put a pin through it, and you can just pull it off the frame. If that makes sense, but you'll you'll see it when it's done. Right, I'll leave it for now. Okay, we've got all the frame done now. That's finished with. Um, all I've got to do now is just make some plates to go on here. Stop wood to fall through, obviously. So I've got some old aluminium sheeting uh, that I've got from a, an old job. Old aluminium, old job. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just folding a lip on it to stiffen it along the edge, and then I'm making the plates to fit on there. And then I'll either screw them down or rivet them or bolt them. I don't know. I'll work it out when I get to that point. Okay. So that's for now. Thank you. Right, after much banging and clattering and folding and forming, we've got the uh, plates now. They've been strengthened by folding the edges. So they're not, not as flexible. You can see the seam there as I've gone up and folded it over. It's only a rough bit of aluminium, isn't it? but it does the job. Just got to uh, rivet it into place now and then fold that a bit more it's a bit tap clean it up with a bit of emery paper and it'll shine up like new aluminium not that it's going to be of any benefit like because once it's stuck outside in rain it's not going to be uh, clean for long is it but uh after having look it's bleeding now after having damaged my finger, I've got no pressure in my hands to squeeze out. So I'm going to rivet them on, but I can't do them at the moment, so I'll have to leave that. But, readily speaking, it's done. That fits on. They won't rivet in. And there you have it. I think I made it for about 10 quid. Yeah, well, one length of uh, inch box section. So yeah, tenner. Okay, we're back to uh, the bench. All the bench are all, all done. All riveted in and what have you. I'm just utilising scrap now because I mean I don't want it to cost me anything really. So what I'm working on now is the feet. I want some flexible feet to go at the bottom so muck don't just keep coming inside it. Um, so. I've got some scrap here that I'm going to cut into two, two inch 
foot plates and then I'm just making the brackets that go on the side of it now either side it bar um, so sorry about this wondering about when it's done you end up with your square leg like that. I'm left hand drawing here. I'm useless. And you have your plate at the bottom. Like that. And two bars either side. With a pin through. And then it'll swivel. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, excuse me, I can't move around. So I'll leave it at that for now. That's the feet on now. Um, it's not pretty, it's not meant to be pretty, just um, efficient. So that swings and adjusts and stops the bar filling up with mud. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is just make a little bracket to stop it opening too far to put these feet on I've just put this little bit of wire on just to steady it I'll, uh, I'll make a little bracket I think fasten it onto the side so I'll do that now by the time I've finished it'll wear some putting old stuff on it but never mind I want it to last I mean it will last could be any longer than I will but Okay, it's a bit smoky in the room.